Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching A Passing a Prisoner. I am Pastor Jay Carter of the Change Church, jumping online to do another video. Uh, today's content, we are going to be talking about Shyla. This video is for Shyla. This is Shyla's personal video. I said I was going to do a video um, about some things that we had talked about. So this is for Shyla. And if you don't know who Shyla is, go ahead and introduce yourself to Shyla in the comment section. Uh, let her know that you support her and she's a part of the Prison Wife family. And this is just what we do. Okay. So Shyla, this is we were talking about uh, meeting the kids, right? The kids meeting the boo and the boo, the husband, you know what I'm saying? Being incarcerated. This is just my opinion, my thoughts in regards to that. And so, um, Everybody had something to say, you know, about my son, me, and my husband, but it's always up to you. And I feel like as adults, if you weigh the pros and the cons, you should be able to make a decision based on the need of your uh, family dynamic. And I'm just going to share some things about my family dynamic that helped me make my decision. My child's father, not to bad mouth him or to talk bad about him, but he had stepped away from my son years before my husband came into the picture as my husband. Remember, my husband has always been in the picture. He just was not in the picture as on a romantic level. You know what I'm saying? He's my homeboy. And so, um, my child's father had not being a good daddy and so it wasn't that my son didn't know him my son already knew of him but my son did not know like y'all like boyfriend and girlfriend like y'all like that like wait a minute so we were on the phone for a week week one I, we was on the phone for the week before he asked me you know? he knew he wanted the girl okay but now nah. so uh week one he started asking about my son. He was like, well, Papa, what Papa doing? I ain't, you know, I ain't talked to him in a long time. Let me, what he got going on. He was so invested in it. And at first, Papa had his, you know, like, wait a minute. Why he want to talk to me a lot? Like, wait a minute. And he was like, I just want to let you know, you I, you have somebody to talk to. If you ever feel uncomfortable, you can't talk to your mama or whatever, whatever. You know, if you don't want me to be your daddy, I don't have to be. But I will always be a father figure to lead you and guide you X, Y, and Z. And my son just fell in love with him like oh my god and they like bonded over sports and all of that but it was easy for me to make that decision because my baby daddy was not in the picture versus in other people's uh relationships and situations their baby daddy could be like active in a kid's life like active like every game like picking them up dropping them off i mean the whole nine you name it so in my mind to me i feel just like depending on your situation it would allow you to make the best decision for you my son had already went through like his bad as hell sage yeah bad as hell i did say that hell is in the bible calm down please don't be offended um he had went through that bad, bad as hell stage <laughs> Katiana laughing at me, y'all. Uh, he had went through that bad as hell stage. So he wasn't in that stage when my husband came in the picture as my husband. So he was at the chill stage, you know, like the relaxing. The, I ain't going to school turning up. You know what I'm saying? And so I just feel like depending on what stage it is, because I've had my godson was, is in the bad as hell stage, you know, the, whoa, wait a minute. And so when my uh, son, when my godson got in contact with my husband, it was like, oh yeah, it's like he's starting to straight up a little, straighten up a little bit. He wasn't getting in trouble. He was coming home at a decent time. You know, he was changing. And I just thought it was crazy to watch how my son, who never really felt, I guess, completely accepted by his father, fully accepted by this man who is incarcerated but invested. Like, every time on the phone, he know. Daddy on the phone, I better speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up, daddy? How's school? Blah, 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 blah. So, and then to watch my... um my godson jump into the picture and he's like, no, nah, I want, you know, I want to be on my best behavior from, you know, from my, my godfather. Like, it's like, um, a refreshing to see their response to my husband. Now, how I would feel if the response wasn't as positive, I honestly feel like I would have back, back, bagged back and reassessed the situation to determine how purposeful my marriage is. I believe every marriage has a purpose. And so if, if my marriage purpose outweighed my children's feelings, I would have to reconsider marrying my husband. However, because my purpose in my marriage, because everything worked seamlessly together, everything was like perfect. 
I didn't have an issue with having to, like, guess or decide, like, if this is something I really should be doing or not. You know what I'm saying? Based on my kids. For my uh, stepson, which we don't even use that terminology, but this is for those who just try to line up what I be saying. Our youngest is 10 years old, and he had not, he wasn't able to have that full relationship with his father that a lot of kids had because my husband is incarcerated. So on family days, it is extremely important to have my younger son with him because my younger son is learning his father even as he's growing, you know what I'm saying? And I think that that's important. Their bond has to be strong. I tell you this, I have a cousin. And my uncle was in prison majority of our lives growing up, but I have a cousin. His daughter um, was um, a part of our lives like every day. Like every day we were going to her school, picking up school clothes shopping. You know, my mom did that. Christmases, my mom did that. So it was almost as if even though he wasn't there, my family pulled together in order to make sure my cousin didn't feel that absence as bad. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like it's very important if these are your husbands, which I know in Charlotte's case, this is not. But for those that are watching, if these are um, children that don't belong, that children that belong to him, uh, you definitely need to make sure that that relationship is strong, that writing is important, going to see them, get that phone on, even if you're not with the baby daddy anymore. Because what will happen is that child will grow up resenting you as the mother or resenting the father. And depending on who fault it is, on who didn't reach out and who didn't keep the relationship afloat, that kid could be really lost and you don't want that. So for those of you that these are like stepchildren, I think it's very important to get your kid's opinion. Like when my son, I asked my son, do you feel uncomfortable being around him? Do you feel uncomfortable talking to him? And I ask those questions one-on-one -on -one because we have that type of relationship. So the bottom line of this video is that for Shyla, get your opinion on your son. Take things as slow as possible. As far as the little girl getting kicked out of visit, I can't wait to hear about that. I want to know about that. I know she hasn't been kicked out yet, but... When she get kicked out, she gonna join the kickout club with her TT. I'm her TT, okay? So she gonna join the kickout club with me because I got kicked out too. So we gonna work on it together being kicked out, okay? So, uh, but it's really ultimately up to you, of course. But my opinion is slow roll it, talking, writing, conversations or whatever. But for those that are like, why is she making this video about Shyla? I told Shyla that I was going to make a video for her. And then I live kind of ventured into Shyla's original video for the Met While Incarcerated. And I'm just here like, ah, I did tell Shyla I was going to make her video. So I made Shyla a video. Shout out to Shyla. She is really dope. She is one of the best subscribers. Man, I'm telling you, she comments on my stuff. She shares my stuff. I love it Dev, I always call her my sis. Thank y'all so much for watching. Shyla, so tell Shyla y'all support her marriage. Y'all support her union. Make sure she knows she feel this love, okay? She need to feel the love, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Have a great day.